Ken Huffaker lives in Goshen, but he's behind bars in Clinton County on four animal cruelty charges and a probation violation. Good evening, everybody. Local 12 News broke this story yesterday about the dead and starving animals on Ken Huffaker's Clinton County property. But the other part of the story is what life is like for people around his home in Goshen. Local 12 News reporter Rich Jaffe joins us now from the newsroom with new information on the case. Rich? Rob Ken Huffaker surrendered to Clinton County authorities late yesterday. If he'd gotten lucky, he might have made a bond hearing this morning, but that didn't happen. Instead, he's spending the weekend in jail. Investigators, the prosecutor, and a judge in Clinton County are clearly unhappy with how he responded to an animal cruelty conviction in March. What we found is that Huffaker also has a lot of issues in his own backyard, or maybe front yard. This is Ken Huffaker's front yard at Maine and Plum in Goshen. Neighbors say he's had dead chickens in one of the trailers, and his turkeys frequently run loose in the neighborhood. Frustrated neighbors say living near this house is tough. I called animal control. I called Goshen police. I've even had contact with the trustees to no avail. No one will do anything about it. Della Cook moved into her house a couple of doors away in 1999. Her first issue with the Huffakers came after watching how they treated a chocolate lab, which they kept in a chicken coop. We watched how they fed it. They would throw food through the, the chicken coop part of it to feed him. They would never let him it out. Um, they had dogs tied to bumpers of cars. Um, we witnessed, I think it was just last year, where they had, they only have probably about an acre over there. They had cows and horses living on that acre in mud up to their second joints. A lot of the cows and horses on the Goshen property apparently ended up on Huffaker's property in Clinton County, where they starved and or died. Convicted of animal cruelty in March, Huffaker was ordered to clean up the property and care for the animals. Investigators say that didn't happen, and now he's facing more charges in Clinton County. In Goshen, though, Ken Huffaker's been president of the Citizens Police Academy. He was on the zoning board and is currently on the zoning appeals board. At the same time, we found he's been charged criminally at least 15 times for zoning violations. Each time, he fixes the problem just enough. Cases never would have been closed had it not been improved uh, to the level that he was in compliance with the zoning code. Uh, the unfortunate thing is that typically uh, once the problem's cleaned up, it's a matter of months or perhaps years before things start to accumulate over there again, and uh, we're right back where we started. Police Chief Ray Snyder wears a lot of hats in Goshen. He's the township administrator as well as the head of zoning. He tells me he had Ken Huffaker in his office this summer and ordered him to once again clean up that property. But Ray tells me that if the property is not ship shaped by November, they're going to file charges on Ken Huffaker once again. The bigger question is how do the trustees in Goshen appoint a guy like this to any kind of official position? In the newsroom, Rich Jaffe, Local 12 News. Rob? Rich, thanks very much. Ken Huffaker is scheduled for a bond hearing in Clinton County on Monday morning, and we'll, of course, have that covered for you.